we always like to have options in everything but choosing the best among them especially in case of IDEs gets confusing. So if you have any issues regarding this here is Vajiha on behalf of Edureka to bring down to you guys the top 10 best IDEs for Python and help you narrow down on the most suitable one for you. So before we begin just make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest Edureka videos. Moving on towards the session we shall first begin with understanding what exactly is an IDE and the basic features of it. Following that we shall take a look at the top 10 best IDEs for Python and the factors that need to be in mind before selecting one of these. So without any further ado's let's move ahead straight away to learn what exactly is an IDE. Guys IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's a graphical user interface where programmers write their code and produce their final products. An IDE basically unifies all essential tools required for software development and testing. This in turn helps the programmer to maximize his output. Now that you know what is an IDE, let's move on to see what are the basic features of an IDE. Many of us do not know the difference between code editors and IDEs. Code editors are applications that are able to write and manipulate source code. They can either be standalone applications or can be integrated into IDEs. The only feature a code editor should support is being able to edit text. On the other hand, an IDE is a complete environment where you can create software applications. In addition to code editors, IDEs also have other features such as syntax highlighting, which is used to mark the syntax of the base language in different colors and fonts. The auto completion feature is designed to minimize the time consumption. A debugger is available, which is required to test and debug the source code. IDEs also consist of compilers. Now these are tools that translate source code from one language to another. Finally, IDEs can either be language specific or may have support for multiple languages. The choice relies on the user to single out and embrace the IDEs of his choice. Now that you know basic features of an IDE, let's move on to see what are the top 10 best IDEs for Python. At our position 10 is idle. It's a cross-platform open source IDE which comes as a default implementation along with Python and it's written completely in Python as well. Its name is presumed to be in honor of Eric Idle who's one of the founding members of Monty Python. This IDE is considered to be extremely suitable for the education industry due to its simplicity. It also provides special features such as availability of a Python shell with syntax highlighting, a multi-window text editor, program animation or stepping which refers to executing one line of code at a time. Breakpoints are available to ease the debugging and the call stack is clearly visible. At position 9 is Thony. This is an IDE that was developed for beginners. It provides step-by-step -step assistance to the programmer. It has separate windows that are provided to execute function calls. Line numbers are available to the user to keep track of each line. Log of the user actions is available so as to assist the user in future. Statement stepping without breakpoints is also possible. Moving on towards the next IDE which takes the 8th slot is Atom. Atom is an open source cross-platform IDE built using web technologies. Atom is based on the Electron framework which is built by GitHub. It also provides some remarkable features such as support for third-party packages and themes so as to format the editor. Atom's APM allows installation and management of packages. It also provides support for a number of languages other than Python such as C, C++, Java, etc. Atom also consists of an exception reporting package. At the seventh place is Eric Python. Eric Python is an open source cross-platform IDE which is written completely in Python. Its source code is available freely and can be studied and recreated by anybody. Some of the quality features provided by Eric Python are formatable window layout, formatable syntax highlighting, code folding which is selectively showing or hiding some part of your code. It is also furnished with a class browser and has built-in support for unit testing and Django. At the sixth position is Wing. This cross-platform IDE was created by Wingware. It is a lightweight IDE and designed to allow quick programming. It comes in three variants namely Wing Pro, Wing Personal and Wing 101. Wing Pro is a professional version which is priced somewhere between $95 to $179. Wing Personal and Wing 101 on the other hand are simplified free versions that are available for students and beginners. 
Wing provides special features such as automatic multi-process and child process debugging. Remote debug process is possible. It also has a module browser and allows refactoring, which is a process of structuring existing computer code. It also provides auto completion feature for non Python files as well. Now let's move on towards sublime text, which stands at the fifth position. Guys sublime text is a cross platform IDE priced at $80. It is developed in C++ and Python. In addition to Python, it provides support for other languages as well. The features of this IDE can be enhanced using plugins. The go to anything feature allows quick access to files, symbols or lines. Its command palette provides robust matching for keyboard invocations. Python based plugin APIs are supported. This IDE also allows simultaneous editing and the preferences can be made project specific. At position 4 is Rodeo. Rodeo is an open source cross platform IDE built in particular for machine learning and data science. Rodeo makes it very convenient to load and compare data. It also allows data experimentation and is furnished with Python tutorials to guide the users. It also provides cheat sheets for material reference. Files and packet search is made very easy. Rodeo is a simple and a lightweight IDE. At the third slot is PyDev. This is an open source cross platform third party package which serves as a plugin for Eclipse, which in turn enables it for Python development. PyDev provides a remote debugger wherein the files which are not launched in Eclipse can be debugged. It also provides the code folding feature so as to selectively hide or display sections of code. It provides support for Python 2x and 3x syntax. The auto edit feature can automatically edit the parentheses, add self parameter to the class methods and can also add import keyword in the import lines. Standing at number 2, Spider is an open source cross platform IDE designed mainly for data analysis and scientists. It's considered to be a powerful scientific development IDE written in Python. Spider is integrated with many scientific Python libraries such as SciPy, NumPy, Matplotlib, Pandas, etc. Pertaining to its scientific use, Spider provides advanced support for editing, analysis and data exploration. It also allows static code analysis wherein the analysis is performed without actually executing the code. The features of this IDE can be expanded further through plugin system and API. The IDE that takes the top slot and is at position number one is my personal favorite PyCharm. It was developed by the Zek company JetBrains and it's a cross platform IDE. It comes in two versions wherein the community version is free and the professional version is priced at $199 per user. PyCharm is considered to be one of the best IDEs and also the most widely used because of its remarkable features such as specialized project views allowing quick switching between files. It also facilitates web development along with Django, Flask and Web2Py. PyCharm is equipped with more than 1000 plugins so programmers can write their own plugins to extend its features. 81 of the top 100 companies make use of PyCharm. If you guys have any personal favorites, please do let me know in the comment section with a reason as to why it's your favorite and I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Before ending the session, let me just help you guys to narrow down on the best IDE that's suitable for you. Before choosing an IDE, keep the following points in mind. The level of expertise of the programmer, the type of industry or sector where Python is being used, ability to buy commercial versions or stick to the free ones, the kind of software being developed and the need to integrate with other languages. Once these points are decided upon, the programmer can easily select among the IDEs which we have discussed earlier based on the given features. With this, we've reached the end of the session on the top 10 best IDEs for Python. If you guys have any doubts or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section and I'll revert to you at the earliest. Goodbye and take care. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!